First on Fox 10 News, we're continuing to ask questions about a shooting in Pritchard. It happened late Thursday night. Investigators were on scene for at least two hours trying to piece together what happened. And as Asha Stables reports, they have some questions too. Two days later, and there's still no clear reason as to why Pritchard Police and Mobile County Sheriff deputies were investigating a shooting at a gas station on St. Stephen's Road late Thursday night. A lot of shots. I don't even know how many shots it was. It was just a remember it was going on for a minute. Rashid Shuford says he was working next door at Fry Daddy's when he heard shots ringing out. I came out and I saw him, you know, and he was moving still. You know what I'm saying? And uh. You know, I didn't want to touch him or touch nothing, you know what I'm saying? He was shot. It was, it was bad, you know. It was bad. Uh, saw a lot of blood on his shirt. Police responding quick to the scene. Fox 10 News was the first crew there watching as investigators placed at least 13 shell casing markers on the ground near pumps 1 and 2. We don't know exactly uh, if there was any gunfire return from the victim's vehicle, but we do know that the uh, suspect did shoot multiple times at the victim's vehicle. According to Lieutenant Robert Martin, it appears the victim tried to get away from the flying bullets by throwing his car in reverse, but he didn't get too far, landing in a ditch close by. The shooter and the victim have not been identified, but we're told the two men are in their 20s and it's possible they know each other. Shuford and Lieutenant Martin say shootings like this are frustrating because it happens too often and they want to see a change in their community. It's a tragedy, you know, young men getting shot like this, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it's crazy for, you know, young black males to be, you know, going back and forth like this, you know. I don't know what it was over or anything, but it just seemed like I don't think it was worth it. The solution that we always say is prayer, prayer, prayer. You, you can't get too much prayer in any type of situation, but as you said, it is frustrating because the more we preach about gun violence, it seems like more people don't listen, and that's why we have situations like this. Reporting from Pritchard, Asha Staples, Fox 10 News. And at last check, the victim is still in critical condition at Sacred Heart Hospital. As soon as we learn more about this investigation, we'll let you know on air and online at foxntv.com.